We are waiting now for the judge's decision in the city of Winnipeg's request to remove the blockade at the main entrance to the Brady Road landfill. So this blockade has been in place for more than a week now, ever since the Manitoba government said it would not fund a search of the landfill where the remains of two First Nations women, Morgan Harris and Mercedes Myron, are believed to be. For a look at the blockade and the calls for the landfill to be searched, Serene Fox, activist, broadcaster and filmmaker, is joining us in studio this morning. Good to have you in studio with us. Thank you guys for having me. So we know the blockade may have started last week, but the calls for the province to search the landfill for the remains of the two women, I mean, that goes back to last year. How did it get to the point where this blockade was so necessary? Yeah, well, as you mentioned, Camp Morgan has been there since December, and we're at this place because it's... It's unacceptable for the federal government, for the city of Winnipeg, to not consider this an emergency. There are Indigenous women who we know are in that landfill, and we need to search it immediately. I'm thinking about the families of Morgan Harris yep. and Mercedes Myron. How are they doing? Well, we know that uh, Morgan Harris's daughter, Cambria, has become quite an activist herself, so uh, I can't imagine how she's doing. Um, to have this in the face of everything this country talks about in the um, wake of the missing and murdered Indigenous women, um, the yeah, the yes. conversations that are happening and reconciliation. Mm -hmm. How is it that we are still in this place where we have to argue for this? And the calls to action. That's right. right. In May, the Assembly of Manitoba Chiefs released a study on the feasibility of searching the landfills, which has been a point that people are talking about, right? And the study said locating the remains is possible, with the search possibly costing 84 to $184 million. It would take one to three years. What message did it send when the government said it would not search the site? Well, it sends the message that Indigenous people, Indigenous women are garbage, that we aren't um, good enough uh, to be looked for. And look, at, let me talk about economics. Mm -hmm. It's really quite a slap in the face for Indigenous people to even have to consider this when we know that land and resources are what this country is formed on. And so Indigenous people uh, have lost out on that revenue, on that economic success. And so how dare the government, how dare the city of Winnipeg say that they won't spend the money on us when... We have literally uh, had our land and resources um, be the backbone of success for so many Canadians to this day. If the judge grants the city of Winnipeg's injunction, where do protesters go from here? We know just before the pandemic, we were looking at um, the entire nation responding uh, to what was happening in Wet'suwet'en. So Indigenous people are united uh, and we will stand for our women. So I think if this injunction takes place, we're going to see nation to nation response. Um, and I think that's what needs to happen if this landfill is not searched, if these women are not taken seriously. Serene Fox, always good to talk to you. Thanks so much. Chi Miigwech, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.